comes to us from the Mad Mouse 95. Mad Mouse 95 says, what effect do you think coronavirus will have on Disney World's 50th anniversary? It's a great question because uh, we are uh, on our way into the big 50 for Magic Kingdom. And I know that Walt Disney World was gearing up with all kinds of projects and all kinds of new ideas and concepts to um, push forward into their, their golden anniversary year. We saw what happened when Disneyland had its 50th anniversary. It was a celebration globally. It was a huge deal. Do you guys think that we might be on the cusp of uh, a downplayed 50th? I, I think that's really sad to even you know, put into words there, but um, I, I just don't imagine that uh, all the spending is going to be there like it was, all the plans are going to be there like they were, because life has changed so much. Katrina, what do you think? Well, I am going to think of Chapek for this one, okay. and he loves money, so he's really going to hype up this whole 50th thing, but not give anybody anything in return. So he's going to try to like talk about how great the 50th is. You guys should come and visit, spend money. He likes money. And, uh, and then maybe do like really cheap things to make it seem special, but cut back everything that they were planning to by like half to save money, but then earn money from people visiting. Does that make sense? Interesting. Not really. I don't know. That's how I feel. Like, I think it's going to help them with people coming to visit because it's like enticing someone to go uh, because it's like, you know, once in a lifetime kind of thing because you can't celebrate 50th anniversary twice for Magic Kingdom. So people want to go visit if they're Disney lovers. But then, you know, how, I don't feel like Disney's going to put a lot of energy into or a lot of big things for the 50th anniversary because they're going to try to still save money. Sure. So they're going to try to like half ass it. Yeah. So, so perhaps <laughs> uh, pivot to less of a uh, less of a, a capital investment type anniversary and more of a probably nostalgia. I can see that being uh, more of the marketing uh, idea now going into the 50th is let's just play off the nostalgia because people love that and, and people will remember how special it all was like, uh, and yeah. then tr just try and stay on that strategy maybe. I want to say like how they, what they used to do for annual pass holders, right? So they used to do a renewal party for California annual pass holders. That was all hunky dory and beautiful. And then they took it away and instead they did like a uh, one, you know, a month and you can buy a popcorn bucket and then get refills. And that's how and they were able to respect buttons and, AP and days. yeah, AP days. So like you get a free button and you get, and you have to pay for a popcorn bucket, but then you can do dollar refills for a month. That, 50th I think that's days. What they're probably, I think that's what they're going to do for the 50th anniversary. They're just going to make a whole bunch of merchandise for people to buy and do popcorn buckets or something and not do like a party or, you know, special, really cool special events with like performers and stuff because that costs more money and there's no revenue. So maybe talk a bit on, on that approach and just really sink all of the uh, creativity into the merchandise. Tyler, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's going to be all merchandise and and maybe some special food items, but that's probably going to be the extent, unfortunately. I, oh, I hope they don't get on board <laughs> with that churro thing that we do out here in California. Oh, I guess with, they're the ice uh, cream. What? They're uh, like what the soft cream? serve. They like doing soft serve. Oh, sure. Yeah, maybe. But uh, I just think that it's it's not going to be nearly as big as they were planning, uh, unfortunately. And I mean, I think it's already been affected, honestly, because at this point we should be in Disney World uh, seeing the the newly painted Cinderella Castle and everything, and we and we don't even get to see that. It's they continued to paint it after they closed, but I don't think any of us have really seen the finished product, especially in person. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's already been affected, and it'll continue to be affected, unfortunately. And then I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's like October first is their opening date. So that's it's like supposed their, to be, yeah. So you know, at that point, they're going to have to kick it into full Halloween swing if they're going to be open for that because uh, because they're going to have to get money through their Halloween parties and stuff like that, which which how is that even going to be affected? Are we going to be able to pass out candy? And, you know, I'm, I'm, that's another that's a whole nother subject. But um, one celebration at a time, Tyler. I know. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I, I'm just I never really considered that one. But uh, yeah, I just think that they they're going to have a lot on their plate when they reopen and I'm, I'm just not seeing massive celebrations. 
Yeah, that's a, a sad thing to hear verbalize there. Garrett, Mr. Walt Disney World, uh, it doesn't look like uh, Cinderella Castle behind you has been touched up like we were told it was. Uh, so <laughs> calling me a liar? I don't know what's going on back <laughs> there. Uh, but what do you think? 50th uh, anniversary celebration for Magic Kingdom. Are we going to see far less of a celebration? It's see far less that's that's uh that's up to the imagination uh the one thing walt disney world does have is october 1st is the 50th anniversary uh disneyland is in the summertime so they had that whole thing but if they push it back until october 1st and then start the celebration on the actual 50th and then run it for two and a half years like disneyland it can work um i also find it interesting how Disneyland uh, went through the Great Recession and ours is going through the Corona uh, epidemic. So uh, clearly Disney has a way of picking great times for 50th anniversary. But <laughs> they planned it. Out. I think, yeah, I if they push it back, I think magic can have them because uh, hopefully by next summer, there should be some form of a vaccine out that will protect us. And once a vaccine comes out, then you can start streamlining things a lot faster because there's not as much of a health risk. There's still some, but um, that aside, they probably will downplay some things. Uh, Tron, uh, Light Cycle Run, that's still going to be put out. I imagine Gardens of the Galaxy is still going to be done. Epcot, hit and miss. But Magic Kingdom, I could imagine that baby good to go. You don't have to have the Halloween stuff. I don't recall uh, how Disneyland did when it was Halloween time uh, during the 50th anniversary, but you can still. I don't think they had parties yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, well, listen, maybe this is the year without the party and just put all the focus on the 50th. I would honestly do that because I, I so many that, that would lose so much revenue for them. They put out these parties for for months. These parties last for months, and I can't they even started imagine. in August, for God's sake. Yeah, I can't, it makes them so much money. I can't listen, even imagine that they would cancel the party. Listen, right now, people are going to take what they can get. You are, Do you want part of a cookie or do you want no cookie at all? Well, so you're telling me that the cookie is the 50th anniversary. I think that the cookie is the Halloween parties, personally. See, I think that's more important Halloween to Halloween comes many every guests. year. The 50th anniversary only comes once. You only turn 50 once, except for Disneyland, which was 50 for two years in a row. I think it's important but, to us. I think the I think that their their goal is everybody, and and mm -hmm. and everybody is not so interested in the 50th anniversary. They're more interested in Halloween, in my opinion. I disagree. I think, like, for me, I'm like the 50th and the 60th at Disneyland were huge. So I'm looking to see what that happens. You can still have Halloween parties without the Christmas decoration. Or that, sorry, without the Halloween decorations. It's still possible. But like, you can still decorate Main Street, and that cast can still be different, and you can still put out props and stuff on the stage for that stuff. It's possible. It's just October 1st is an interesting time frame to open a resort. Come on, Walt. Why'd you have to set it as that? Or sorry, it was Roy at that point. But. <laughs> it's you can still have Halloween and still have the 50th at the same time because it's necessary. I, I want that castle. I was promised a pink castle. I want a pink castle. I don't want that. I don't want a cake castle. I want a, I want a pink castle. If you want a pink I castle, come out to California. <laughs> hey, oh. D Disney. Disneyland does have a better castle, in my opinion. I think so, at least. Well, thanks for oh, that. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah, yeah we, no, we no, appreciate I'm, the I'm a, I'm a Disneyland boy. I'm a Disneyland boy at heart. Disneyland's always going to be my number one. We know you nice. are. Absolutely. <laughs> and when it comes down to it, uh, guys, if it, it does get tabled, I can't imagine Disney doing that. But um, I know that they want to uh, celebrate Magic Kingdom the right way. And we don't know what's to come with this pandemic. We don't know what's going to happen with even their reopening timeline. If they tabled the uh, 50th anniversary celebration kickoff for a few months, is that something that uh, you would be OK with? Uh, Tyler, let's ask you first. Yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, like, you know, like Garrett said, I, I don't know if it went for two and a half years, but the 60th did go for quite a, of, mm -hmm. a long time. So, you know, Garrett, you're, you know, he's right about that. It could definitely keep on continuing forward. Uh, and they painted that castle. They didn't plan to just leave it for a couple months and then paint it back. Right. So, uh, you know, I think Garrett's right about that. Uh, I just, I just, uh, I guess we'll just have to see because it's like, if they want to have these two different events, I think they're going to side with Halloween, to be honest. 
Well, I uh, can't imagine them uh, doing away with a, a huge global 50th anniversary celebration that they could draw everybody into for a seasonal party. Um, but I, I definitely think that um, those parties rake in the cash and uh, are huge events every year. And uh, I, I just I don't imagine them getting rid of either of them. Um, but yeah, yeah, that 50th anniversary um, has been getting built up to now for the last few years. And it's been talked about now for the last year in particular um, as something that's going to be spectacular for Magic Kingdom and to not have that or uh, to have to delay that e even would just be uh, a little unfortunate, a little sad and, you know, a sign of the times, but um, definitely thinking that we're going to see some cutbacks, definitely thinking that we're going to see some reductions um, in what was going to originally be offered. And, um, you know, I think that all goes hand in hand with a lot of the big capital investments that they were doing attraction wise too. So at any rate, we thank you very much for your question. We celebrate the 50th anniversary whether it comes uh you know at the at the anniversary date uh, of october or whether it comes a few months down the line we look forward to it to all who come to this happy place welcome <laughs> <laughs>